Hi everybody, this is Robert Miller and I am in front of the beautiful uh, Corona del Mar and Newport Harbor entrance. Uh, this is not too far from my office and I walk down here from my home. But um, I just wanted to talk really quick about something that I had written a short article about and that's assault with a deadly weapon. This is a kind of a, a calm and peaceful place but um, assault with a deadly weapon of course is anything but. Sometimes uh, this crime however can be charged against people without a true assault or even without what you might consider a deadly weapon. In the weapon category I've seen cases where someone has been driving a car and has uh, backed near somebody or attempted to drive near somebody and the car of course was charged as a deadly weapon. Some things like uh, brass knuckles or of course a gun or a knife or even a beer bottle can be used as a deadly weapon. Even things like steel-toed boots can sometimes be charged as a deadly weapon. And uh, the assault means that the person has to intend under the law to commit great bodily injury for a felony or intend to commit injury if it's charged as a misdemeanor. And those definitions give some defenses just by their very use of terms in the law. But uh, some of the defenses that have been used um, even going back to British common law includes self-defense or defense of others or by showing the prosecutor or the judge or the jury that a person wasn't truly intending to commit an assault or did not in fact use a deadly weapon or didn't intend to cause great bodily harm. I have an article on that on my website or on uh, EZ articles or article zine. And if you have any questions, you can always contact me at the office. Our number is toll-free, 877-568-2977. And I hope you have a great week.